based off the story. Of I mean, nobody's gonna oh, stop shit. you. Look at look how big uh, that screen is now. Jesus Christ, that's taking up over everything. Which one? There we go. <gasps> okay, so I'll make sure we can see everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My cat used to vomit daily. My cat used to vomit daily. Okay, so Jen has a cat, right? And every now and then we'd wake up or, you know, and walk around barefoot and you'd step in a wet thing and be like, ah, oh, gross, your cat puked. So the thing was, it was always a mystery. You never saw it actually happen. And I've seen it happen so many times. But that was the thing, is I had a traumatic experience. Like, I was, I was working on VR at that computer and it just came down the stairs and just like, like, just went, and then just, it just like, it, it wasn't putting any pressure in its throat, it just like opened its mouth, and it was just like, it's the true. craziest That's looking weird, amount feel, of stuff. I feel like cats, like, don't just do that, they, they spend a long time going like, Bleh, Bleh, Bleh. It was like, weird, like yeah, you, you think I would've got some sort of warning, or anything. it was actually kind of impressive. But, uh, yeah. It was projectile? Oh yeah, we were talking about Fruit Ninja. Yeah, it's not gonna be very good. Uh, and hopefully that's hopefully that's good. That it's not good. And hopefully people stop making movies of, Based on uh, apps of mobile apps. Yeah. Or uh, yeah. probably really cheap. Do, to well, how did? Okay, let me. What was the box office report on uh, Angry Birds? It's up over its budget now. It cost seventy two, and it's made seventy three so far. What are you doing, Mike? I'm knocking over cups. <laughs> Fuck this cup. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if we asked Mike to pick up anything, uh, he would say no. But now that he's just having to bend over to knock the like fake stuff yeah, over, he just he's, he's bending over nonstop. I kind of wish Mike. Mike's gotta leave here, but he's gotta go do some band stuff around eight o'clock. But uh, I wish Mike. Uh, I, there's so we got this game. We're gonna play here in a bit called Hollow Point. Last week we were playing uh, the archery demo that the the Valve guys did, but this is a full on game. It's kind of like being in a matrix with like kind of holograms come and attack you and you shoot them with uh, air arrows. Okay. But I, like you duck a lot and you have to dodge and stuff. So I really kind of wanted to see, uh, kind of hoping to see Mike Time's actually up. break some ribs. Now there's a uh, there's a there's a plot to the Tetris game allegedly because uh, there was that uh, guy who made that viral video of the Tetris that ended up being pixels. That's right. Oh, is he doing, oh. is he making the movie? No, but. Maybe somebody's put a, a link to the video and like the article, but like, I think there's a plot, but it's it's like the Tetris blocks are invading the world, and I think they're like ships or something. What, like Battleship? Sounds like the Battleship. Oh, uh, Battleship was so bad. Battleship yeah. was the worst. Why? I remember here and there doing a Battleship movie, and I was like, oh, okay, that can kind of make sense. And then they were like, with aliens, and I was like, well, what the I, fuck? I, I worked with a dude who was per, uh, Peter Berg's assistant, and he was like, oh, Peter Berg's making Battleship. And I was like, wow, that sounds terrible. He goes, no, nah, dude, it's going to be nothing like the game. He just like did it so he could get money to make this crazy action movie. And then I saw it. And you, it was, oh, you saw it? It was terrible. Have you seen it? No, I, was, uh, I worked on a movie with Peter Berg, but it was a documentary, and uh, so it wasn't a real movie. You owe it to yourself to watch... It is exquisitely bad. Poor Taylor Kitsch, you can't get a break. He, yeah, he's done so many bad movies. All right, so if you look in the well, box, and then he finally got one that was good, where he got the True Detective two, and then that was like, like the oh, worst, the worst season. season. We made we made a bad one. That season was like, I feel like the guy who made True Detective was like had a movie like his Shane Black movie. Well, no, and no. it was just sitting around in a drawer. Did you hear about it? What did like HBO said they rushed it and shit? Yeah, yeah. Well, like the the, the head of HBO actually like took the the front on that one. What's weird is how cool. Will, Will, Will Mushroom says Battleship was okay. It was, eh. You know, if I saw it at the Dollar Theater or like or on TV after like a late night of partying with like with some Taco Bell, I probably wouldn't hate it. But it, it'd have to be like under those kind of circumstances. Strong point. I like how, yeah, you got like super cool Mike in the center on his music video. <laughs> and then you have fucking Mike the cardigan wearing cat person. <laughs> it's pretty great. Yeah, Mike, we can see your vid we can see your music video. Look at him go, dude. Oh, is he, is he just cat dancing now? I'm cat dancing. I'm super proud. This is a song. This song's very good. Not catchy. like in the Houston weather right now. Is it raining? Is Tell it me raining if it's raining Houston. in Houston, because then I'll find out what the weather's going to be like tomorrow in Austin. <laughs> At least you're in Houston. No, Houston's terrible. Why would you say that? I don't know. <laughs> you ever been to Houston? No, I haven't. Oh, it's not good. I was thinking about going for the see, there's, but I don't there's know. There's going to be a lot of symbolism in that movie, uh, in Tetris. What did everyone watch this week? We haven't oh, done that shit. yet. Oh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I saw The Nice Guys again, and it was really, really great again. Uh... Hold on, let me turn this, this cat I, game down. I saw X Men. Oh, did you not like that? it? It's like, like fuck you, not good. Oh, shit. oh really? It's not like miserable. 
Are, is, are, you, are, are, you, are you think that maybe like the, the general audiences aren't ready for like the colorful, uh, like no, it's just cartoon it's, version of a action no, it's, movie. It's, it's the fact that like it was written so poorly with such a terribly conceived villain that has no actual plot to it, and Oscar Isaac looks ridiculous and is a very terrible actor in that specific film. Oh no! I heard Jennifer Lawrence was also phoning it in. I mean, people said that, but she's fine. People said that about Nicholas Holt, but also he's fine. I did something. Like, Fast Yeah, ben- your game went away. Fast Bender's, like, you know, good. McAvoy's still good. Like, you watch it and, like, you're not. Right, let's throw you in something else. You're not Mike. mad at the movie because, like, it's generally entertaining enough for you to not be pissed, but, right. like, it's such a missed opportunity because they didn't decide to do anything. It's, it was, like, the film equivalent. I'm getting, of re- I'm getting really water. bummed out the more you talk about yeah, it. Yeah, don't go, don't go see it. I'm not going to see it. I really wanted to. No. Though. Like, if you're going to spend money, like, spend it on, like, the nice guys or something good. Yeah, I'm going to go see the nice guys. That's a good, that's a good call. They were not <laughs> impressed by the draft house? So, hey, Mike, tell us a little bit more about this music. Tell us a little house. bit more about this music video that we see here on the side, on the bottom of the screen. Uh, well, it's the, uh, debut, uh, single from the Draculas. It's on an EP that Red Scare put out. It's called Ow, Wow Wow. And, uh, that band is a concept band. It's about, uh, the concept being that... Where all the stories, uh, all, all the songs are basically stories from a fictionalized 1970s <laughs> Times Square <laughs> metropolis type place, uh, sort of like the Warriors or Taxi Driver. So all the songs are like written from the point of view of characters who are like maybe like pornographers or gang members or people that go to sex clubs. Or and that song Ow Wow is about the feeling you have when you when you. Uh, in, inhale uh, like poppers or whippets or inhalants, your brain goes ow, wow, wow, wow. Oh, and nice. so a lot of the songs are about, they're very sexual in, uh, in uh, con- content. You know what's funny, Mike? You were talking to the camera that's shooting you, so you also have a camera on your head. So it just looked like you were a crazy person talking to a wall. <laughs> like yeah. hardcore Henry style. All right, let's, let's let, let me see you play a few rounds of this before you have to head how out. Do I, how do I do this? Uh, hold down the trigger in your hand with, for the arrow. Uh, there uh-huh. should be arrows behind your back. Okay. Like, like this game will make you feel like fucking Hawkeye. This game's got hollow point, and it's... Um, Where do I give the arrows? Uh, they're behind your back. Are you, are you right Oh, I see. Are you right-handed? Why is that bow in... in okay, I don't know why the bow's in my right hand. Uh, you want to you wanna restart it and so you can get them in the right hand? Will yeah, willed M oh, willed mushrooms? Did you see Angry Birds? Seemed like you did. Yeah, they can keep... I just switch hands? Hold oh, on, no. Let, let, you got those straps on you. Let's see if this is easier. All right, let's see it again, Mike. All right, check it out. So here we go, playing Hollow Point. This is a game that I just got the other day. I've been having a lot of fun with the actual the Valve demo for archery, so I wanted to get this game. It got really great reviews. Oh, I also saw the duo of the new Adam the right movie. Hand. Should oh, I just switch hands? Is, it, is there not an option to switch? Hold on, let me uh, see oh, let me help you out. I needed to see it. People said it was like so terrible. Is it worse than uh, yeah. Ridiculous Six? No, no it, like this movie is like a, just a shitty movie, whereas the Ridiculous Six, right? yeah. So like that movie's just a shitty movie, whereas the Ridiculous the Six is like an irredeemable set of sequences that perpetually like just uh, serve to be misogynistic really and good. offensive it's and racist. Like really quick with you. What the fuck? What's he's that? Just, he shot. He seemed like he's just he just shot all I this mean, movie in a week. All he does is fucking go on vacation, calls it to see what friends free, uh, and then go, hey, well, give me some generic plot points. At least he's subjecting it to Netflix and not to theaters. Just because they gave him like the most money, I'm sure. Let's see what. Let's see. Let's see how Mike does. Go ahead, Mike. You have to be good at archery for this game. Yeah, you have to be Gina Davis. I'm Gina fucking Davis. There you go. <laughs> Gina Davis's eyes, or isn't that what the song is? Yep. She's that's, got that's Gina that's Davis eyes. Let it rip, Hawkeye. Oh yeah, it's gonna shoot things at, after you shoot it. Make and sure to get. And like I've already said, I wish you were a cat. What do I have to do? Just move away from those? Yeah, when they shoot back at you. Okay. Hey, I saw Zoolander too. Uh, how would you like that? Uh, it was not that great, but the uh, Kyle Mooney. Yeah, Kyle Mooney was amazing. Was that was it? You and I were talking on the podcast about that. Uh, I, I mean, about how much I I'm jealous of his abilities. No, I was talking about him in Zoolander Mooney. two and how the like, SNL guy. Like he's like otherworldly in that movie, where like you'd watch that entire movie again just for how good Kyle Mooney. No, is yeah, I went back and watched. I literally like skipped through and watched his part again. 
Okay, he's he's the guy that does he does all the little shorts on SNL. He's like the new uh, Adam or uh, Sandberg sort of. Oh, okay. He does like all the viral. But he, he had a whole career of just doing YouTube stuff, and his characters are great. But in Zoolander 2, he plays this like he's like a new up and coming like fashion designer, and his whole thing is he's just like super hipster. So he only likes things that he thinks are lame and ironic, and he it's he, it's really fun. Oh my god, you're fucking terrible! It's the best. Yeah. <laughs> now get the fuck out of here before uh, I puke because it's so great. <laughs> How many, huh? You ever watch uh, that show Hey Ladies with uh, Stephen Merchant? Oh, the H was that HBO show? It didn't get renewed, but I remember people liked it. It got a, a movie. Oh, it got a movie? Yeah. Like an HBO movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. But anyways, he, he plays Stephen Merchant's like super sad loser. Show me who Kyle Mooney is, Nick. Show me the Mooney. But he's uh, he's, uh, he's a Hold comedian. on, wait. Can we give my Show Me the Mooney some credit? That was, uh, that was Could You Gonna Did reference. See, Mike likes that it. That is good. Thank you, Mike. Show Me the Mooney. I was busy fucking, sh fucking Hawkeye in this Mike, shit. You see my Dude, tweet? don't you feel like Hawkeye really quickly? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see uh, the tweet that I shared with you today, Mike? Which one? Uh, Kyle Mooney. I, I recently started following uh, Fozzie Bear on Twitter. He oh! Just, so Kyle Money just looks like Rick Moranis and or uh, the guy that's just always the scientist in but, but the he, movie. And I type, type in Kyle Money Zoolander 2. Who is Hawk Guy? <laughs> that's what Eyeball Phone said. Who is Hawk Guy? <laughs> you know, I don't understand what Hawkeye's name Oh, is. yeah, he was funny. Oh, yeah, he's got an interesting look in that. Yeah, I mean, he, he can. he's like a chameleon where he can do it all. Let's see, let's go over to the couch now. All right, Mike, what are you thinking? This is great. This is a lot of fun. Is it like better or worse than being a cat? Uh, I like this better than being a cat because it's more violent. And it is, you really do feel like, like Hawkeye or something. Till, <laughs> Till plays asked, nice. uh, Nick, did Kevin Smith return your calls yet? And then Bless Skulls answered, no, Kevin Smith ignored him. <laughs> you guys. That, that's, that's part of the reason why just out of spite, like, to your credit, I have no what I have no like you're more on the it's gonna be shit, but I have no idea where yoga hosers could go in my personal opinion since I actually like Tusk. So part of me just wants to just put the money down and drive to Houston next week and just meet him so I can just put this to rest. So you can get over your hero. Just get get it all get out. Get a of new way. hero. Sure. <laughs> well, sure if that works. <laughs> no way, Project Cars in VR. This is Hollow Point. Oh, so bless goals, you know your games. Alright, cool. Yeah, I saw someone playing Project Cars last night in the C V one. I think, isn't that right, Project Cars is Sorry, on we just put away the cat game because Mike got really too sexual with I it. Got, I got engorged with blood in my genitals. Oh, hey, okay, okay let's see. Oh, shit. Oh, I see. <laughs> you brought a lot of people from Vine, and apparently that's a very sexual medium where people want to see Cat Boy. Let, let's jump in there really quickly before you leave, Mike. Let's see you as a cat again. I don't want you to work out too okay. much in this game. This, okay. is, this game's a good workout, yeah? This is great. Yeah, I love this hollow This is game. like everything I wanted we to be. Oh, yeah. It just showed up a little later. And connect. Remember the connect? So like yeah. promo, you could scan your skateboard and then ride it. People wanna happens. let's see. People wanna see Mike play be a cat before he heads out for the night. I wanna see him in a fucking IKEA simulator. <laughs> I wanna see what Mike does in an IKEA. What is that, dude? I've done the IKEA simulator. It's pretty fucking stupid. Can you get a uh, like a, a dollar ice cream cone? Can you? Can you get a dollar ice cream? I mean, like, is that a goal based? Because that's all I try to do is like get through. All the, the they, have, they have the meatballs. meatballs. They, they added the meatballs because everyone was like, it's not really IKEA without the meatballs. It's fair. All right, everyone, you guys wanted to see Mike as a cat. This is <laughs> Mike as a cat. Mike's a cat now, everybody. Wiping my cat. Let's go to the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the game. Yeah, this is going to be some real weird fan fiction. Hey, Mike, have you thought about releasing an album called Catboy now that you've got an entire group of fans that are really interested in you and Cat? I, if I could sell some copies, I probably would. This song's called, I'm gonna go to sleep for 16 <laughs> hours. Really <laughs> slow tracks. Jay's gonna hate. <laughs> Nick, you're talking to me in the chat. You're literally sitting next to me on the couch. It's the kind of person I am. Uh, it's the kind of future we're looking for, guys. Right. <laughs> All Star Hipster, no. More cats. More cats. Oh, do they not see the cats yet? Oh, they don't see them yet. Oh, wait. There's a. 
I, I forget there's a <laughs> Did you go right to the wall? I did. Yeah, I just keep reading people's responses to Mike. 